Happy Holidays! Welcome back to Weenie Trades, and in this video, I'm going to be giving the end of the year game plan. So I'm going to be going over the SPY, stocks to watch, and then potential swing trade ideas moving forward. So this upcoming week, I'm going to be keeping it light. Market had a pretty uh, action-packed Christmas week. If we're just looking at the SPY, we had some pretty good volatility. We had some good uh, down moves, we had some good up moves, and towards the end of the year, most of the time, we probably just kind of fizzle on out. So what I'm going to be doing for this video is I'm going to be looking at the expected moves and I'm going to be judging whether the expected move for this stock or ETF is a little bit too high or if it's about fair or if it's a little bit low. And if the expected move is too high, there's an options strategy that you can use to capitalize off of it of credit spreads. So if implied volatility is too high and the volatility happens to be less, hey, there's some profit to be made in that strategy. So let's break down the SPY. SPY overall for the week, we have a $7.30 expected move for the week. And in my opinion, that's a little bit high. So what am I looking to do if I'm thinking that the options market is pricing in too much of a range this week is, hey, if we're coming up to about 478, I'm gonna sell bear call credit spreads, BCC. And then if we go sideways or pull it back in, I make profit. Conversely to the downside, if SPY is coming down into the, you know, 463, 463, I'm going to sell put credit spreads, PCS. And if SPY goes sideways or higher from that level, I get to collect money. So that's kind of the range that I'm expecting we stay within this week. I think that we might stay even a little bit less inside there. So this, these topper upper range is where we're expected to be moving. And I think we're going to be probably somewhere like this. I don't think SPY will go too much higher than like 475, 476, but I don't expect SPY to go much lower than like 464. So that's the overall SPY. Let's check out next up we got is a CRO Crypto and CRO Crypto relatively new. Nice good uh, top, top breakout, a hold of it. Bull flag pop, bear flag descending triangle breakdown. Now we're coming to the bottom side of this supply zone and we rejected. Let's see if we can get above and hold above the supply zone and CRO Crypto can be pretty good. Otherwise, there's a dip buy to be had at about 0.55 with the stop loss right underneath you. I'll call it a 0.45. So a 10 cent stop loss. And then you can see if you can get a nice good trend continuation. So CRO Crypto looks pretty good. Looks a lot better than other cryptos, but it needs to correct through uh, price through time before it can bust up higher. Or it might break down if we you know, start coming underneath that 0.55 and certainly, it would be bearish if we were to break 0.45. That would be undoing this wick and this wick. So CRO Crypto, expecting sideways action. Uh, if you're aggressive, you could take a breakout over 70 cents and just keep an eye on the volume. So that is CRO Crypto. So next up we got is HUT, HUT 8 Mining. And HUT, pretty decent sell-off from the overall highs. If you remember, I actually called the trade setup right over here at about 12 and that got a uh, move up to about, you know, 1320. It got the partial, but then it started to really break support. So HUT's got quite a bit of work to do. And if we check the expected move, the expected move for HUT is $1.20. So that's uh put would put HUT at about $10 per share, and that coincides right with resistance. So, don't expect HUT to go much higher than 10 unless crypto's having some insane crazy rally. So HUT 8 uh, you know, not expecting it to go much higher than 10, but I would expect it to go sideways to slightly higher as we did come into a former breakout area and we're starting to hold it as support. So HUT 8 mining, expecting sideways to slightly higher. Of course, you wouldn't want HUT to break this low of 7.30. HUT, if, it, if, it, if that breaks 7.30, HUT could do a pretty decent unwind to the downside. So otherwise, HUT... If we're coming, if we're at 10 and we start pushing much past 10, I might sell bear call credit spreads on HUT 8 mining. So that is HUT. Next up we got is Tesla, T-S-L-A. And Tesla stock over here, nice good run. And if you recall and watched other previous Weenie Trades videos, I was saying, hey, there's a Tesla short to be had underneath 980. And you can target something like the 900 slash 880 area. Well, Tesla went as low as 886. And that just coincided with this whole, you know, demand zone. So look at this. Top cluster, cluster, cluster. You can also watch another Weenie Trades video where it's saying, hey, I'm selling Tesla all-time highs. And you can see me uh, selling my Tesla shares right up over there at about 900. Pretty interesting down move. And then we just consolidated and went nowhere. Big breakout. 
And so far, Tesla's confirming and holding the breakout. Now, I do think that if there is any decent market pullback or correction, that you can get Tesla at these lower prices. And I do think you can get Tesla for probably 700 to 800 in a decent market correction. But if you still like a, a Tesla as an, as an investment, no problem. Keep dollar cost averaging in this upper zone and we'll see if we can get a nice good flag breakout. Otherwise, you saw that flag that I just drew, right? So I'm just gonna connect these high, uh, lower highs, connect these lower lows. And if Tesla, Tesla still uh, could hit resistance, you know, maybe if it comes up to about 1,120, could still pull on back, but it's likely to stay above this midpoint of the range. And that coincides with this breakdown candle high of about 995. So Tesla bullish as long as we're above 995 and we have the chance to potentially break out of the flag. Otherwise, though, the expected move seems about pretty fair for this week. $71 expected move. That seems about right. I don't think that that's too high. I don't think that that's too low. So Tesla might just stick with the intraday day trading setups. We're killing it at Weenie Trades Live day trading Tesla. But the swings sometimes, they can be a choppy, violent gap against you, gap for you. And it's just a little bit inconsistent sometimes. So that's my analysis on Tesla. It's probably a short if it comes up to 1,120, and it's probably a buy if it comes into 995. None of this is financial advice, though. I'm not telling you to buy or sell Tesla. I'm just working out a little game plan. Next up we got is uh, AMD, and AMD over here has a very high expected move this week, $7.60. Boy, that's a really, really big expected move, you know? That's putting you know, AMD at about 153, 154. And then on the bottom side, that's, you know, put a, putting AMD at about 139. So pretty big expected move for a kind of holiday type week. So AMD, I do expect it to probably stay within the range. So if we're getting too much past, you know, 153 might sell bear call credit spreads. And if we're coming too much underneath 139 might sell bull put credit spreads. <clears throat> Other than that though, AMD looks like it just kind of wants to chop around. I do still think that it's a dip buy in this lower zone at about 122 to 125. So kind of neutral on AMD, not bullish, not bearish. Long term, I still do think that it is good. As I talked about in my investing in 2021 video, I was saying, hey, semiconductors, I like semiconductors. They're bullish in my opinion, and they're likely to perform pretty well. And if we just, you know, go from, you know, where, 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 where we were in January, you know, yeah, AMD, AMD's had a pretty good run. 62%, not too shabby of a year for AMD. And so uh, next up I want to talk about is Target. And Target, I do think, is a dip buy. Not financial advice. You know, anything can happen. But if you recall one of the other Weenie Trades videos, I was saying, hey, Target 215 is a dip buy. And the low of this move was uh, 214.27. 214.27. Quick, didn't spend too much time down there. Wicked up. I do think that target can probably retest something like 230 over the next coming weeks and or months. And I do think in a few years, we will eclipse these all-time highs. Target pays a good dividend, pays a good yield. I like it fundamentally. And weekly, it looks like it could just be one big, like some type of monthly bull flag. So we're, we're, we're breaking support and we're having some red candles, but I do think that we could just zigzag for a bit and then pop bullishly. But that's just an opinion. Of course, if Target's coming, you know, short term, you wouldn't want Target coming underneath that 215 area. Otherwise, though, I do think it's still probably a dip buy just at a spike of 200, 195. In terms of my investments, though, I wouldn't want Target, you know, coming much underneath 190. You know, I might have a stop loss on my investment underneath Target 190. That's the worst case scenario, though. I do think that we do see something like this and then go higher. All, the, all just hypothetical scenarios, but something to keep an eye out for. Next up, I want you to keep your eyes on Hood. And if you recall, on Weenie Trades videos, or at least Weenie Trades Live, Hood 17. So far, the low of Hood is 1708. So I did pick up some Hood shares in this bottom zone. Now, if Hood, this is a bear flag. If Hood can't get its keister going, you know, Hood could, this could just be drop, bear flag, and then another ensuing drop. In which case, yeah, not super interested. This type of trade in Hood you know, I normally don't like buying stocks that bleed off this much, but eventually a risk to reward becomes so favorable that it catches my eye. So what do I mean by that? Well, we're making lower highs and lower lows. Lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Just a steady downtrend. Graph starts in the top left 
and ends in the bottom right downtrend nice and easy but what's cool about this is it's a great risk to reward what does that mean well if i buy hood right here you know let's call it let's say i buy hood at 19 my stop loss can go right underneath 17 so i have about a two dollar risk two two dollar risk and on a really good day i do think hood could back test the the ipo breakdown so bounce support support it's likely going to be tested probably at least once in its lifetime as resistance does it have to no but that could be a margin of profit of 74 percent it may take a few months and or years for that to happen but we could see hood at the at the at the at the 30 level again 30 31 32 33 so keep an eye out on hood conservatively though i do think that hood probably gets you know into the mid 20s 23 24 25 let's call it 27 would be my stretch target so hood long over 19 stretch target 27 this might be a position type of swing trade type of deal so hood keep an eye on it otherwise Trend is not your friend, so it's a great risk to reward. But hood, because the trend and momentum is down, lows, lows, all-time lows tend to continue to make all-time lows, just as all-time highs tend to continue to make all-time highs. So keep an eye out on that for hood. And then lastly, I have a short setup for you. It's actually on Uber. And Uber, I just like this setup because, again, trend line, you can see high, 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 low, 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 low 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 nice consistent channel for coming to the top end of the channel extended you can probably short hood at about 45 at a rejection of 45 put your stop loss somewhere above it and then maybe you could get a retracement of this range something down to like 42 42 41 41 to 42 to 43 and we'll have to reevaluate this at weenie trades live but just a potential short setup looking for a quick little retracement type of move and then we can see if Uber can uh, break out of this channel or revisit towards the bottom end of the channel. So those are my potential trade ideas, stock analysis, spy analysis, expected move analysis. Get ready for a chill trading week. Comment below how I can help you guys out more in 2022. I'm always looking for ways to offer value and get better and better and better as we should in trading. Keep on growing. Thanks for tuning in. See ya. Bye. Happy, Happy holidays, holidays from the Weenie Trades family. From the Weenie Trades family. Hi, Peter. <laughs> yes, Parker. Happy holidays. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.